Jim called me. I was on the on the road. Uh, I can't remember where I was going, but uh, he said, "Steve, I appreciate all the work that you guys have done in the Missouri House and turning the state in a new direction." And he said, "I'd like to be a part of it. I'd like to help you maintain and grow the majority." Is it, is it he was when he started his political career as a member of the Missouri House of Representatives for eight years, from 1984 to 92, and so he more than most has a good appreciation of what what happens here. He was here when we were in a distinct minority has seen what we've been able to do with the majority and how government by Republicans at the governor, the House, and the Senate level has really given us an opportunity to do dramatic reforms in the state of Missouri, to put our state on the right track, and to make it a better place for the people of Missouri. So with that, I'd like to introduce to you our chairman for both committees, Jim Town. I started here, I know the foundation of government and one hopes of good government for the people of a state begins in the legislature. The foundation of strength for a movement over time begins in the legislature. Just look at how many people who are running first from the House for the state Senate, but then for Congress, then for statewide office, then for the United States Senate, governor's office, had their start in their career in the legislature. It's important as a party uh, uh, that we maintain strength here. Uh, they're doing a great job. They're recruiting well. They have outstanding candidates. I'm looking forward to meeting many of them on the trail and getting around Missouri and, uh, and doing as much as I can to help without What specific races do you plan on campaigning for? Uh, I've, had, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I've had several contacts from people, and there's some people that I know and have known for a number of years that I'll probably campaign for just because I know them and they're my friends. Other than that, we're going to sit down and put our heads together, uh, figure out what the priorities are, and then I'll probably go into those races. But I, I'm going to make a fair amount of time available, so I should be able to get to a lot of places. Would uh, the race in Columbia, the Senate race in Columbia, be one of them where you might get involved? Uh, it's, it's a potential, and we really have not talked in those terms yet. In fact, we just uh, really began to have meetings about it today. I guess you mentioned as being an honorary chairman. Is, it, is this basically a ceremonial position? That for no, I mean, in the sense that I'm going to be doing a lot, but the, camp, the, the, the campaign committees in the majority fund, they have chairman already. I want to be clear I'm not displacing anybody, and, and they've done a great job of, of recruiting, a great job of doing the fundamentals of politics. I mean, my job is to go uh, around the state uh, and stir up visibility and activity, grassroots support, work. I mean, in a presidential year especially, uh, this is true for both parties, really. You have to be careful that the presidential race and the governor's race, because in Missouri, of course, our governor runs uh, in the presidential years, don't dominate the thinking of all your workers and all your supporters, because it's so easy to just get focused on that and forget about the importance of these races. And I'm going to do what I can to make certain people remember and get out and help.